Hello, I'm Ella Ladd from Kids First Film Critics. Today, I will be doing a review on the film Slay the Dragon. Slay the Dragon is an educational film that allowed me to learn more about gerrymandering. As a person who enjoys politics and social justice, I had an interesting experience with this movie. At the beginning of the movie, I knew little to nothing about gerrymandering. However, by the end of the film, I was quite knowledgeable about this topic. I was educated, but I cannot say that I was thoroughly entertained. It is hard to make a documentary film about gerrymandering that is fun and intriguing for the masses. However, watching the film was not a necessarily tedious process, so there is that. Slay the Dragon follows the story of a young woman, Katie Fahey, who lives in Michigan and decides to make a change by rallying a group together to create a proposition preventing, preventing gerrymandering in the state of Michigan. Gerrymandering is the ability for politicians or powerful government officials to change state lines and districts in order to prevent certain candidates from winning votes from specific groups of people. Simultaneously, we learn about the history of gerrymandering and how it was used to create our current political climate. In the 80s, gerrymandering was mainly used by Democrats, but now it's mainly used by Republican politicians. Throughout the course of the film, we see Katie's trials and tribulations as she continues to fight for what she believes in, make, helping make the voting process fair. Slay the Dragon is an inspiring film to watch, especially as a young girl interested in social justice, politics, and changing the world through the process of lawmaking. Katie's journey was definitely a roller coaster and her passion is extremely admirable. The only negative aspect of the film that I would say is that it didn't fully capture my attention 100% of the time. A lot of the film showcases repetitive statistics. I understand that it is difficult to make a documentary of this nature. Although I was not fully captivated, I respect the hard work and effort that was put into making this film. I learned a lot about gerrymandering, and I feel inspired and reassured, so the filmmakers did manage to accomplish something really positive. I give this film 3 out of 5 stars and recommend it for kids ages 12 to 18. Catch it in theaters on March 13th. I'm Ella Ladd from Kids vs. Film Critics, signing out. Thanks for watching. Bye. And if we don't come and say that enough is enough, then nothing's going to change.